Hey guys, I'm Ithiyap for Phone Radar and you're watching the unboxing of the all-new Acer Liquid Z530 smartphone which was launched today in India. The phone has an MRP of 6,999 rupees and here are more information about the same. This has been manufactured in Malaysia by Acer and uh, the device has been uh, manufactured in the month of September while it's imported that, uh, in October. We have this exclusive uh, unboxing again and uh, though the package does look like something which was earlier opened and resealed but that said here is the actual smartphone now this comes with a 5 inches HD display not a full HD display again at this price you cannot even uh, complain or expect a full HD display and it comes with a 8 megapixel uh, wide angle front camera now that's one of the uh, USB of this device and apart from that it has this uh, zero air gap on the sides and it supports an LTE connectivity talking about the design this is how the phone looks and uh, on the back you have this uh, Acer branding and uh, you have the rear camera with uh, the LED flash while on the bottom you have a very different kind of uh, speaker grill which supports DTS uh, studio sound and uh, when you open up the back panel you can find the other slots on the back you have the option to insert the sim cards again this supports uh, dual sim cards and a micro hd card let's put this uh, on the side while on the sides you have the volume blockers while on the left there's nothing on the bottom you have the micro usb port and uh, a microphone while on the top you have 3.5 headset jack let me place the phone aside and first show you the package contents so first of what you get within the package is this uh, safety information booklet and the warranty statement which is also in a booklet format with a lot of information mentioned within the same next up within the package what we have here is the earphone which also has this acer branding and it also has the option to control the calls here is a travel adapter and this doesn't have the acer branding but it's mentioned as uh, dbe and it has an output of one ampere you have this micro usb cable that connects to the same and then finally we have this uh, battery which has a capacity of 2420 mAh let's place this battery onto this phone and at this price you're getting a pretty good uh, battery and uh, the front camera as i mentioned earlier comes with an 8 megapixel sensor which helps you in capturing some wide shot selfies let's boot up the phone and uh, show you what all comes pre-installed on this phone and here we are onto the setup screen and it says uh, you are on the welcome screen let me just uh, complete all these options and that will take you to the home screen and here we are onto the home screen and you can find some uh, pre-installed applications and widgets while the first folder you see is from google next one is from acer where you find a lot of uh, acer specific applications then uh, you have some uh, pre-installed apps also i mean pre-installed games which come pre on this phone and under the app drawer you can find many other bloatways i mean there's a lot of uh, pre-installed applications which have come on this device let's quickly go to the settings and uh, check out the storage and the software information because that can let us know how much of the storage has been uh, allotted to the pre-installed applications so by default you can find that the device is obviously running on the latest uh, android lollipop update and we have no idea if this would be getting the android 6.0 update that's the marshmallow let's go to the storage options and do make a note that the device is available in two different storage options the one which we have here is with the 2gb ram that's with 16gb internal storage while there's also another variant which is uh, coming with 8gb of internal storage and 1gb of ram so that said here you can find that uh, the device has a total of 10.5gb available while around 3gb has been allocated to systems and for the apps there's just 172kb allotted that is something uh, um, not actually true because you can clearly find the storage size which is set up here and uh, if you clearly notice most of these uh, bloatware applications which i clearly mentioned earlier are not pre-installed but they are just shortcuts to the same so that means that you wouldn't uh, be able to play the games but you will be asked to actually download them so these are more like shortcuts which you can actually delete so these these are not uh, the actual bloatware application that is something good i mean you can always give a quick shortcut to your users but don't force them with some uh, applications or the bloatware pre-installed 
now since we have no applications running right now on this phone let's check out the ram allocation so here you can notice that it's out of 2 gb ram there's around 400 mb has been allocated to the system 185 has been used by the apps and around 1.3 gb is pretty much you available and uh, there is just the chrome browser which was running in the background so that's it a pretty good uh, hardware and uh, this is the ui which you get let me quickly move on to the camera and here under the camera you can see that uh, there is this uh, settings toggle button then you have the favorite shot and a few other options so let me first quickly show you the options here and uh, for photos you have the option of uh, capturing photos up to 8 megapixel on the rear again also from the front camera and it depends again if you want 16 to 9 then you will have to go to the 6 megapixel option you can also control the ISO you have the option of uh, favorite shot the burst mode is also enabled and you can enable or disable the grid and for videos you have the option of video stabilizer and uh, you can also record uh, videos in 1080p so that's pretty much uh, good i mean uh, at this price point you're getting uh, some decent options with 2gb ram and uh, stuff so let me just quickly capture a photo and uh, show you the sample and also now i'll be adding few more samples that can give you idea on how good the uh, camera is in terms of uh, the captures so here this is a picture which has been captured with the rear camera that's the 8 megapixel rear camera and it came out to be pretty good again uh, let me just uh, switch that to the front camera and that's the wide angle uh, front camera it's pretty wide i would say not to the level of what we have seen on the other flagship smartphones uh, from samsung but it's pretty good enough i mean at a price of uh, mrp of 7000 rupees you're pretty much getting a good package and that's from a well-known brand that's acer which is uh, one of the leading brands i'm a taiwan brand and this was the unboxing and hands-on on the same before we end this video let's quickly check if the phone uh, supports uh, usb otg or not so here let's insert a usb otg drive and uh, there's no notification for the same and I'll have to install the file manager probably to check if it's uh, so we already have a file manager and uh, the USB OTG function is still not enabled when you insert the same so by default it's not enabled I guess and uh, that's a demo of the same so this was the unboxing and hands-on on the Acer Z530 smartphone don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and stay subscribed to phone Lab for more videos like this this is amit signing off and i hope to see you guys in the next video thank you